Hey YouTube, just doing another quick review, overview style video. I just wanted to talk briefly about this sender. I'm sure most of you have heard of um, the story or even have read some of it. Um, I, uh, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Um, in fact, when I read the first trade that came out, um, I knew I was going to want to upgrade to um, a hardcover and oversized edition. Um, it also, I enjoyed it so much. This is the only um, CGC book that I have, and I got issue one. Um, because I love the story, and I just love uh, the cover so much. Um, it has kind of made me want to get a few more uh, books slabbed, but uh, just just had to have it in the, my collection. So um, overall, I think I think you have to read the whole thing. I've heard some people not enjoying it as much. Um, I, I think you have to do start to finish. I don't think you can just read part of volume one or read the first couple of trades and are going to enjoy it as much. I think you have to see the whole picture. Um, even when I first read it, I, I was just immediately captured by um, the first part of the story and the premise of the uh, future and robots. Here's the back of the book if you want to um, take a read there uh, just to get an idea of the, of the basic idea behind the story. Um, of course, it's written by Jeff Lemire, and if you've noticed any of my videos already, I'm a big fan of his writing. I love his art. He didn't do the art in these. Um, the art was by Dustin uh, Nguyen, and um, it, it's just, it is beautiful art. Um, they're great um, inside the cover here, too. Um, let me find some more art that I think is just fantastic without spoiling anything um, but I just think it's it's done so well he does um, watercolor um, in his drawings and paintings um, there's another great page there to highlight some art uh, but it is to me uh, it kind of starts as a I think a, a classic, straightforward, science fiction type story, um, you know, set um, in the future of other um, races and planets, um, and a lot of tension between um, robots and uh, humans, and, and just all that could mean. If you've ever seen uh, the movie AI, I think that... Um, Gives you a kind of a basic thing behind where some tensions could lie. And, um, uh, of course, a little of the backstory, there was an attack um, by these giant robots called Harvesters um, that led to hum human beings and these aliens. I don't think any of them are really humans or they're far descendants of humans somewhere. Um, are attacked, so then they turn on the robots they have made and um you know i think that's a understandable reaction um but i will say um one one negative to me is it does at, at the beginning feel similar to um to a lot of other stories like ai or um really any of your robotic future ai type takeover kind of stories um it does have some, I don't know necessarily Star Wars, but any of your space bearing type um, uh, shows or, or books, it does have a, a familiar feel there. So that's a little bit of a, I don't know if it's a takeaway, but to some it might seem, well, we've heard this before. And I, I would agree with that to a point. Um, I also say in volume one of the hardcover, I think that might be, volume three of the trade paper decks. Um, it does kind of a series of backstories. And I remember when I first read through it, I remember I felt like this story was going really fast and then slowed down a whole lot when we got to the backstory. The backstories are important, but I remember reading at the time thinking, oh, well, it kind of, 
kind of dipped a little bit. And you might experience the same thing if you haven't read. You get to the end of book one here in the hardcovers, then it, it kind of dips down, I think. Um, but just hang in there because volume two or book two of the hardcovers really picks back up. And it's just um, uh, just a fast pace, a lot of things happening. Um, and if you've read other Jeff Lemire things, there are some interesting twists along the way. Um, this basic idea... I think uh, of robots and humanity and their interactions kind of gets flipped around um, as you go through book two, and I won't spoil it because I, I was very um, it was very exciting to read and to read such a by that point a different take on um, like I said robots and humanity their interactions and things like that. So uh, I do highly recommend uh, Descender. Um, like I said, if it, if it gets a little slow in book one or you feel like it's retreading many different stories, just hang in there. Um, get both. The artwork alone is, is, is worth it for these um, bigger editions. Um, and yeah, so uh, definitely check out Descender and try to do a couple more videos. I might, I haven't decided how I want to do my haul videos. I like the idea of doing them at the end of the month, but uh I might go ahead and do one to have one in before Christmas because I got a few other um, videos I want to do before the end of the year. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a like if you want. Uh, subscribe if you want. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you next time.